After much anticipation, Trolls 3 Band Together is lighting up movie theaters around the world. Fresh from our screening, we can confidently say that this installment packs in some of the most unforgettable moments of the entire Troll series. Whether it's Poppy and Branch's heartwarming connection, or the visually stunning animation sequences that'll leave you awestruck, this movie doesn't hold back. We're here to break down the highlights and share our top picks from this dazzling threequel. A fair warning before we dive in. Spoiler territory lies ahead. If you haven't watched the movie yet, proceed at your own risk. All right, Slurpheads, let's dive into the standout moments from Trolls 3, Band Together. Poppy and Branch's Big Moment. Let's kick things off with a moment that had us all on the edge of our seats. The tension, the anticipation, and the sheer joy of seeing Poppy and Branch finally seal their relationship with a kiss. We get it, Broppy Shipper 247. We were right there with you, hoping and praying for this very moment. After three freaking movies, Poppy and Branch finally share a kiss. Our favorite duo finally made it clear where their hearts truly lie. And to those who were ever in doubt about the nature of their bond, it's official now. With this long-awaited confirmation, we're eager to see how their relationship unfolds in future Trolls adventures. Everything, Bridget. Three movies in, and who would guess, Bridget has effortlessly climbed the ranks to become our undeniable favorite character in the Trolls universe. While I still think I might prefer Trolls World Tour, Band Together offers something the second installment couldn't, an abundance of Bridget and Gristle moments that are pure cinematic gold, from their unforgettable opening wedding scene to a cheeky adult-oriented joke. Seriously, how did that make the final cut? These two Bergens never fail to steal the spotlight. Bridget truly shines in this third outing. Not only is she crowned as Poppy's new BFF, but her flirtatious and downright audacious antics with her beloved Gristle are a treat to watch. If this is the level of hilarity we can expect from our main Bergens, then sign me up. I'm starting the petition to have them in every single Trolls movie moving forward. This boy band joke. Branch, we're out of sync. We've gone from boys to men, and now there's only one direction for us to go. The back streets. In sync reunion. To all the kids out there wondering why your parents were so hyped about this particular cameo, In Sync has reunited. And it's nothing short of epic. While the teasers and trailers cleverly hinted at Brazone being the legendary boy band, it wasn't until the film's climax that we got the grand reveal alongside a new heavy rotation earworm. For the uninitiated, let's travel back in time. In Sync ruled the charts in the late 90s and early 2000s, becoming a household name. Although they took a brief break in 2002, that hiatus turned permanent. The members ventured into solo projects with Justin Timberlake, the voice behind Branch, emerging as a standout solo artist. Their influence was unparalleled in their heyday, and this cinematic reunion is a monumental treat for diehard NSYNC fans. It's not just a highlight of the movie, it's a moment that tugs at the heartstrings of an entire generation. Tiny Diamond shines bright. Band together truly brought out the bling in Tiny Diamond, didn't it? His father Guy Diamond has always been reserved to his comedic, auto-tuned cameos, so it's safe to say that Tiny has quickly surpassed him in terms of character depth and appeal. Every Trolls movie has its tradition of pairing Poppy and Branch with a fun sidekick for their adventures. This time, the surprise pick was none other than Tiny Diamond. Against all expectations, he turned out to be an absolute delight to journey with proving the filmmaker's choice to be a brilliant one. Among the many glittering moments, one that stands out is Tiny's hilarious confrontation over driving. When questioned, he confidently presents a driver's license under the name Adulty McMahon Face, complete with a cheeky, super-glued photo of him sporting a fake mustache. Pure gold, or pure diamond, I guess. Animation evolution, while the Trolls franchise has faced its share of critiques, one aspect that has consistently earned applause is the exceptional animation quality. Trolls 3, band together unquestionably elevates this standard, showcasing the most visually stunning sequences in the series. For fans of the Yoshi's Woolly World aesthetic, this installment pushes the boundaries even further. One standout moment involves Tiny Diamond behind the wheel of Rhonda, their quirky walking hybrid vehicle. Tempted by a button labeled Hustle, Tiny Diamond activates it, plunging us into a whirlwind of psychedelic animation. This sequence, oozing with 90s Nickelodeon flair, not only pays homage to a beloved era, 
but also provides a tantalizing glimpse of what an artistically unrestrained Trolls film might look like. The style is eccentric, fresh, and still quintessentially Trolls. It's a revelation to see the franchise tap into such creative depths. The showstopper tune, Surprises abound in Trolls 3, not least of which is the standout musical performance by a newcomer to the franchise. Yes, while we might have anticipated returning characters to deliver the most memorable tunes, a fresh face stole the show. Sosia Mehmet, known for her role in Girls, voices Velvet and Veneer's overworked PAA, and brings down the house with a vibrant cover of Dolly Parton's iconic 9 to 5. The song, already a classic, is given a fresh twist that fits seamlessly into the Trolls universe making it an instant favorite among audiences. The new villains. The Trolls franchise has never been one to skimp on memorable villains, from Chef Bergen in the original film to the charismatic Queen Barb in the sequel. The question lingered. Could the third installment deliver adversaries to match or surpass their predecessors? While the jury's still out on that, Velvet and Veneer have undeniably carved out a niche for themselves in Trolls 3, band together. A nostalgic nod that fans will appreciate Velvet and Veneer draw inspiration from the iconic Betty Spaghetti's dolls. But the creative genius doesn't stop there. The duo also serves as a cheeky parody of Milli Vanilli, the infamous pop act that faced scandal in the late 80s for lip-syncing to tracks by other artists. This nod to music history, especially with Milli Vanilli's dramatic fall from grace after being stripped of their Grammy, adds depth to the villain's characterization. What truly stands out, however, is the emotional depth woven into Veneer's character. While his sister, Velvet, often belittles him, Veneer's kind-hearted nature shines through. The film subtly explores themes of self-worth and identity, suggesting that if Veneer recognized his inherent value, perhaps he could have chosen a different path. And those were some of our favorite moments from Trolls 3 Band Together. Do you have a favorite moment or a scene that we missed out? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you're an animation fan, why don't you check out our list of the best animated movies of the year so far? Thanks for tuning in, Slurpheads. This the anthem. If you rock it, wait it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah.